Hi everyone and what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today we are filming our 12 book challenge. This is the second month so I'm going to be picking out my second book to read of the month. Okay so welcome back these books. Um, I know I've been eyeing these books up for too long now and I've been thinking what book am I going to pick on my next one. Um, there's quite a few chunkier ones so I might go for Chunky, but I've been staring at this one for quite a while, and this is, that's a hardback. I think I'm going to go for the hardback, so I'm going to go for this one. Alright, let's get started with this one. Ooh, books, books, books. I'm going to rip this one, last time I didn't rip it. <laughs> Ooh, Rescued by John B. Fear. So we're going to read this, the back of the book, and it says, A father trapped in a terrible underwater accident, a son desperate to do something, anything to save him, a digital readout ticking down towards certain death, and a fate more horrible still. So it says, For Alan and his teenage son Jeff, and his new bride Jenny, it's been a little more than a fascinating tourist submarine excursion. I think I said that right. I can't, don't think I did. A leisurely end to a week-long church couple's cruise. Then the horrifying crash and the plunge toward the unknown. Everything Alan has assumed about himself, about what awaits him in the future, is flipped upside down. In the ultimate rescue operation, life or death is just the beginning. Sounds pretty good, I guess. Um, it's a smaller book, so oh look. So this is one thing I hate about books when you get it from a charity shop. This is definitely a charity shop book, and um, because it's got a pound on it. Um, the pages. Why do they do this? Look after your books, people. Look after them. I love my books, so um. Yeah, we're just, oh, and we got a free bookmark with it. That's nice. It's actually a bookmark to go with the book. Nice. Decent. All right, so I am definitely going to give this one a read. It sounds like something that I'll probably be into anyway. Um, so, yeah, I'm so pissed about those pages. What if I can just get my hair straighteners on and just straighten out the corners of the page? Or will that burn it? I think that will burn it. Anyway, I'm going to stop blabbing. I'm going to give this a read. And I'll let you guys know what I think of this book after I have finished reading it. Alright, so I have officially just finished reading my Rescued book. I finished it! Woohoo! I actually finished the book. I'm going to say this is not my kind of book, it's it's very religious and um, it's all about like, it's sort of like a couple religious retreat where they have this underwater experience and they go on the submarine, something bad happens and a rescue team come out, all that kind of stuff. The only parts I was interested in was the underwater experience sort of thing, like what happened and who was alive and stuff and the rescue team and his son trying everything in his power to save his father and stuff like that that was the only parts i was interested in everything else was just boring to me i almost gave up reading um probably about four chapters into this book i said to my husband it's a religious book and i'm not getting into it there's a lot of words like worship and church and god and lord and i was just like I'm just going to push myself through it. And I did. I forced myself to continue reading. Um, so, yeah. Um, don't know what else to say about it. But if you're into your religious books, then this might be one for you. 
um, would I pick this book off the shelf? No, I wouldn't even. I'd probably look at the title on the cover and then see, oh, that looks interesting, and then read the description and then been like, mm, no. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to put this book down and wait another what? three weeks before I can even open my March book. In three weeks I have another book to read which isn't even part of the series but it's just another book I started reading after my last one and I didn't get to finish reading it so I'm going to continue reading that and then obviously the 2nd of March I'm going to open another book for you and hopefully that'll be a good one for me to read. So yeah, I hope you liked this video and if you did, give it a, thim a thumbs, oh yeah, give it a thumbs up, <laughs> what? Give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, turn the notification bell on so you can be notified when I upload videos to my channel and by the way, let's just appreciate this hoodie. I don't know if I ever mentioned this before, did I ever mention my merch? I don't think I do, but this is my merch. It says, oh my days. It's got my little purple guitar on it. It has my little logo. So it's my YouTube banner. Um, sort of design. So yeah, this is my merch. You can get one of these yourself if you want to from my merch website. I don't know if you'd be interested in that or not I would link it below if I can remember the link um, <clears throat> also the last few days I've been suffering with a, a little bit of a cold and lost my voice so I'm slowly trying to get my voice back um, but anyway I'm gonna stop blabbing and I'll see you next time bye